This is the video where I basically claim and embarrass our videoers who made a cock up and epic bloopers caught on camera. So sit back and allow me to narrate all the epic bloopers and cock ups. Hello, I just want it, guys. Donald Trump's fury with we start off with news at 10 and the fire alarm goes off. Just what Tom Bradby doesn't need after an end of his shift. Okay, well, as you can probably tell, we have a fire alarm. You could probably tell that before we Great. went into that report, but we still Just when you want to go here. home. I'm not quite sure what to do about it, so I'm really, really sorry about this. But fire alarms to don't to seem to understand about do not disturb. And unfortunately, it's happened tonight, and we have very little choice, so I really apologise. We'll get back to you with the rest of the programme if we... That's not can. all. Uh, Just what now, you don't uh, need uh, early in the morning on Good Morning Britain. The fire alarm goes off there as well. We are being told we have to leave the building and it's not a fire drill it's real I, think we are genuinely I blame Ben Shepherd for leaving that shepherd's pie in the oven that, the Mulby's the pub Dave is that where the, the fire alarm's going off bye bye studio <laughs> ah here's my video I capture Philip Schofield saying the bag was well shit we call it the bag of shit all up here well done, Philip. You've just given the game away on ITV's prizes are shit. Well done, Philip. It's a winch 45. It's a it's a bag for life and it's full of... Our Prime Minister, uh, Boris Johnson, at a 2021 business industry making a speech, but he seems to not pull himself together. Forgive me. <sighs> Come on, we got more important things to do. You should come and sense. People will have the confidence to stay near uh, the say. place they grew up to start There's business and business. We smeech him now, and it's the weekly food caddy collection in Bournemouth. Early in the morning, as you can see, and it is freezing cold. Finley here is collecting all the food caddy bags for collection. <laughs> Thankfully, no damage was caused. Funny fit, this is a funny fit to get on YouTube. <laughs> all funny caught on camera. <laughs> Claimed and embarrassed. <laughs> Would be a catastrophe. Robert Peston now reporting from Downing Street. He seems to be having so much fun. He accidentally drops his microphone. Well, news can't always be serious, I suppose. Always, always fun to have a bit of laughter in. I think he's put his earpiece back in so we can go back to you. Pester, we're back on you now. So I don't know where you lost me. You didn't lose us, Robert, but you lost your microphone. Tomorrow is coming up next, but that is it from me for tonight. Tom Bradby again, ending news at 10, where it's been a long day at the office. He drops his paperwork. Here's a wee play as well. Rowick Hatchew now on ITV National News. And I don't know about you, but is he feeling okay? I think he's had too much to drink. Come on, Rowett, don't give up now. Just a little more to go. Hello, we're still here. Ah, oh, he's in his own little world. When there's a Linda Robson around, you might always need a sense of beeper at the ready. 
Naughty Linda Robson for swearing on live TV. Unfortunately, the gallery just didn't get to the sense of beeper in time. If you do have to impress... If Another do clip now of Linda Robson on Loose Women and there's some words what we have to say which is for TV <coughs> purposes. I don't think you were supposed to use that word, Linda. I think you should have said bothered. You can't yeah. be bothered, I can you? Be bothered. No, she can't be bothered. She yeah, can't be bothered. She can't be she asked, said. I said. The loose woman forgive you, Linda. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Here's another clip now of Linda Robson, and this time she is in charge with the ITV prizes. Can you believe it? This is it. It's one million pounds right here in this trolley. It came straight from the ITV bank account this morning. How the fuck do I look at it? <laughs> We could all just pretend that Linda Robson didn't swear, but unfortunately, it was too late. <laughs> Time for my big epic question now. Now we'll have the weather. For Thomas Schaffernacker is preparing for the weather, but what does he do by mistake? I've just seen Thomas Schaffernacker preparing for it. Find out at the end of the video. Staying on the news now, and cameras can be little mischief sometimes when they do not want to cooperate. Hello there, we start on the markets because a day after Wall Street closed at new record highs, the gist I don't think the cameras are interested in, in the markets to tell you the truth. You know, I'm going to keep talking. The cameras would prefer to have a tour of the newsroom. You can look at my chair and we're coming back. You're on the way back. Nice try, cameras. Hello. nice to see you again. I'll talk to you down here until you come up. Shares have fallen sharply. Oil has had its steepest one day fall since last summer. I sometimes have to bend down at my cameras too, as I'm taller than the camera. The yield, here we go, we're growing, we're rising. It's like time has gone by quick and the cameras have got taller. Chloe Felgate now at her flat and all sorts of noises can come from our bodies. <clears throat> I just feel sorry for poor Ryan who's got to smell it. But they say, whoever smelt it, dealt it. Please, please, D Day. I wish I had your command instead of Man in Georgia's journal. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I just farted again. Oh, no, not again, Chloe. Please Sound the fart up. alarm. Now we'll have the Finally, we come to the big epic question. Thomas Schaffernacker is about to prepare for the forecast, but what was the wrong mistake he did? The answer is, he sticks his middle finger up. And here's a replay of it. And that's it. Thanks to all the cock-ups and bloopers which were caught on camera, which we all had a giggle. Until next time, goodbye.